Nigga, how are you, man? I'm good, brother. How's everything? Good. I feel like it feels like a thousand years, but you look the same, so it couldn't be a thousand years ago I met you. You too. You too. <laughs> you um, When I met you, you were at BAA? Yes. Um, you went to Boston Arts Academy. It's an audition-based school, right? Correct. So you auditioned in. Yeah. And then you started. What instrument did you audition in? Do you remember? <laughs> you remember? Yeah, I auditioned on congas and uh, guido. And believe guido. it or not, yeah. Do you do you remember your earliest um, your earliest um, memories of when you started playing music? Period. Yes. Yeah, I do. What? I do. I um, I have photos and I have. Uh, I don't have too many videos, but I, I have photos of me when I was a kid, and when I look at them, I could remember certain things of the moment. Yeah. So what what was what was what was your what, what did you start playing at what age? I started I started playing guido, a guichado from Puerto Rico is a it's an instrument. It's a vegetable uh, that grows on a, it grows on a tree. Um, it has a process of, if I'm not mistaken, a couple months. Um, and throughout time, it dries up. They take the inside out. And they 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 put lines on it. it comes from the gourd family, um, and I started playing that that in Maracas. Um, started playing at church when I was a little kid. Nice. And then what did what were your next instruments? How many instruments do you play? Um, well, I play all around percussion. I play timbales, uh, conga, bongos. Play a little bit of cajon. Um, I play a little bit of drums, and all minor percussion. All minor percussion. When you think about when you think about um, when you think about the instruments you play, and you and you think about why you play, um, can you talk to me about both those things either separately or together? Mm -hmm. So why I play, and what was the other question? The, in the amount of instruments. Well, so I started off like I said, I started playing guido. Uh, it's it's a it's like a national instrument of Puerto Rico that um, the Indians, the Taínos, left that uh, behind, um, and we grabbed it, we took it for our. For us, you know, um, I say us. I was born in Boston, but my grandparents were born in Puerto Rico, and I carry that uh, very deeply in my heart. Um, and I think that that's one of the reasons why um, that instrument I grabbed it first. It was something that was always around at home. Um, my grandmother had one. Her uncle played, uh, and I grew up around them. And uh, we did a lot of Christmas carols growing up. Um, we called them parrandas, and, I, and my grandparents would always take me as a kid. And that was always that instrument that. Everyone would just see it and grab it and just start playing. Um, and I fell in love. I fell in love with the instrument um, from the beginning. And I continued to play. I continued to play. And, and at one point, my dad always says, man, you, you wanted to play everything. And I remember my dad at one point in my life, he, um, he started to tell me, you need to slow down. Stick to one instrument first. I used to tell him, no, but I want to learn everything. Um, and, and I did. I, I just went with my heart. Um, I grabbed the bongo. After, after learning maracas and guido, grabbed the bongo. And from bongos, congas, and, and a couple years back, when I, when I entered high school, I started to play timbales a little more um, because I had to play drums. And I said, well, um, I'm not a great drummer um, when it comes to the drum set. So I said, you know what, let me grab something I love. Grab the timbales, and, and that was it. And, you know, I started playing around, gigging around, and, and practicing. Eventually got better, you know. So a lot of people embody certain things, like uh, whether it be the, the love of language, the love of art, the love of music. I, I feel like you embody a lot of things. And, and, and the two top things I think you embody the most is the love of culture and then the love of art. What, I, what do you think about that thing? And the love of family. I feel like yeah. those three things, I think for me, that would be my perception. How would I be in my perception? That, that's correct. Um, my family is everything. My family is everything. Um, I think that when I, you know, as we know, the music scene here is not, it's not the greatest when it comes to places to play and, and having a lot of opportunities. Um, but when I think of that, especially in the Latin scene, I think, man, like, I'm not, I'm not doing much. I'm not doing as much as I want. I always think of my family. I think, man, if I let this go, uh, I'd be letting down my family. I'd be kind of just like giving up on everything they they always took the time to support and and, and push in me um and and my culture is super important super super important to me um like i said i was born here in boston but my heart is in puerto rico um and everything i do when it comes to the latin culture when it comes to playing uh these instruments i think of the island i think man
Like, I'm not born there, but I everywhere I go, I make sure people know, like, my roots come from there. Um, and, and yeah, that's just, that's it. Those, those three things are very, very important to me. Very Lastly, I, um, I paired you up. There's um, this musician by the name of Leo Blanco that is just a phenomenal artist that I just think his projects are phenomenal. But I think one of the things that the reason why I thought you guys would be a good pairing for the series, um, not only for the Latin fusion, but there's something about when he plays, there's just a connection to the music in a way that it feels like it comes out his pores. And then when you play and you sing, I feel like you're always looking for those connections with your other artists. And then um, I, when I saw you guys playing together, I, I was able to see the embodiment of love of music and connection. Um, do you feel that when you play with other musicians? Yes, definitely. Um, not all musicians do that. Not all musicians have that. Um, I think I, in my journey as a musician, as a percussionist, I've learned to um, embrace the moment while you're playing. And by embracing it means connect. Um, sometimes you don't have to speak. Just play. Um, and, and there's a connection that just happens. Um, and you learn that through time. I think you, you, that's, that's a mature stage in a musician's life. Um, you know, I, I remember at one point I would play and I would just worry about how good I was playing the, ins the instrument and I wasn't connecting with everyone else. Um, I have a friend who always told me, man, the mic is there for so people can hear the instrument, but if you're not connected, if you feel like you're not connecting, you're just focused on the sound that's coming out, turn around. Literally, forget about the mic. Turn around and play. Play together. And I, I, I put that into like thought. I said, you know what? It makes a lot of sense. And now when I play, sometimes you won't see me with my bell in the mic. Sometimes I'm facing the bell towards the band because we're playing together. And whatever we play, people are going to hear it regardless. So that's something that's very, that's correct. And and this is, I think it's my first time ever playing with Leo Blanco and I've heard him before, an amazing, amazing musician, um, and I felt the connection auto automatically. There were things that I was doing, and, and he did it at the same time. I was like, man, it's crazy, the connection that's there. So it's a lot of listening, a lot of listening. Yeah, well, he's definitely the frequency master, <laughs> and so I, it was great, great seeing you both two, um, together. So it's an honor having you at Miso Productions and at Miso 142, and you remembered it, and I appreciate <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah, thank and, you, thank um, you, thank you. And it's an honor. Know that you say that there's not a lot of places, but there's this place you can always oh, call. Oh yeah, home. this this you can uh, always call this home. The moment I walked in, you. the moment I walked in, I felt like I told you, uh, I felt this peace. It was just like whoa. And I I've seen pictures before, I've seen videos, but it's it's another thing to walk in. Um, it's free, you know, and, and it's like no structure. The sense of like, there's not like, a, it's not a book you have to follow. You know, it's just come in, be you, and and do music. You know, do well, music. it's an honor having you here, man. Thank you so much. You. It's Thank a pleasure. You. Thank you so much.